You won't be just using a mic in the front of the thing. Real mic. Okay, here we go. So the first line of your paper should be what? Your name, right? Your name. Second line should be my name, teacher's name. Third line should be what? Uh-huh. Or class name. Is it class name and then my name, or is it my name and class name? Yeah, I think it's my name second, right? Okay, good. Then class name. Make sure you do the whole thing. Don't just put CISO2. I want to see CISTOO intro to computing. And then uh, the date. Now make sure you don't put in the date or you put in the right kind of date. Now you can use the date insert or you can type in the date if you want. Remember the date insert. Uh, let me zoom in a little bit here. I don't know why I'm zoomed on here. Here we go. So the date insert is going to be underneath insert date right here. Do you see it? It's this little icon right here. If you don't like little icons, and I remember when I first started using computers, I, I could not remember what these icons mean because, you know, you roll over it and stuff, but you never. The, all the things are on, on a menu item, too. Look at the menu item here. Boosh. It's very long. And there's one that says date right here, date and time right there. Do you see it? If you click on that, you're going to go, and the one that you need to use is this one. Don't put any commas or anything. You do day, month, year. Automatically update. That'll automatically update every time you save. Hit OK. Boom. That's the top of your paper. Now, of course, the line spacing isn't right. It's OK. We're going to fix that. Everybody got that? Ready to move on. Title. Let's hit return. Paragraph break, right? Let's put in our title. Best computer for me. Hey, that sounds like a good title to me. Remember, you're writing it for you. What is the best system for you right now in your life, too? Think, you know, 10 years from now, you might be getting that giga gigabyte computer, you know, that's going to, you know, have VR and killing demons with a headset instead of a mouse and a keyboard. Hit return. Okay, so what do I write about? Did you look at some of the sample papers? You might write a little bit about the history of what you... Look, your computer history. I began using a Windows system in oh, system in uh, middle school. The teacher made us type our papers on blah blah blah. So you can you know write about things like that. Maybe write a little bit about the history of your use of computers and where you're at today. I am looking for a computer that I can use for my college experience. I need to write papers. Maybe list software. What you might write in here in your writing of what you're doing is you list the kind of software you use because that sort of tells me what kind of system you need, right? That's, you know, I'm looking for you to write about how you would use a system. Maybe what system you have now, what, maybe if I had enough money, you know, or maybe I'm, I'm going to ask my aunt, she's going to give me $2,000 to get myself a Mac laptop, she's very nice, what you're supposed to write about is maybe software that you use, things like that, then of course your first table is going to be the needs assessment, I think we talked about that already, I don't think we need to do that one, but we can quickly put it in. Let's quickly put one in. We don't need to do all the detail, but let's quickly put in a needs assessment. So the needs assessment is going to be the uh, to insert a table right here. Boom! Under insert table. And maybe do two across and maybe four down. Boom! Something like that. And probably the best way to make your table look nice is to get rid of the first row here and merge that together and put your needs assessment text right in there. Remember doing that already? So again, you could select. The best way to select the first top row is to hold the left mouse down and drag across like that. See how I hold the left mouse down, drag across. And then if you right click in there, I'm going to say merge cells, merge cells, boom. And then I can type inside there and type in needs 
Oops, needs assessment. Assess M E N T. Oh, capital A. And you might want to center that, so you might want to click on that and go over here to the home button and hit the center here. Or if you go into the layout option here for the table, you can center it right here as well. Boom, right there. And one thing to keep in mind is don't deviate from 12 point. I get a lot of students that are turning in tables and they make this like 14 point bold, you know, because they want to make sure I can see it. No, that's not what you do. Everything in your paper, 12 point, even this stuff. Now you can deviate from the the uh, uh, two point or double line spacing for your table. That's because you're doing a table. It can be one or one point two or whatever it is. Okay, so you don't have to put. You know, if you have two or three lines of text in your needs assessment, it doesn't have to be double spaced. It can be smaller, but everything else is double spaced. Okay. Uh, do you remember how to color it? I would love to see some beautiful colors in your tables. Uh, in my table, I might put a nice shade in there. How about we put a little orange on the top there? Oh, look at that. Maybe th this row is what you're looking for. What is a need? Remember, what would be a need? Connect to Internet. Internet. And over here would be what? Wi-Fi, Ethernet. I don't know. If I spelled Ethernet right, probably not. It's okay. But something like that. And then you can highlight this side over here if you want. Boom. Highlight. Remember, just holding the left key, left mouse key down and highlighting something like that. Boom. There we go. We got yellow, a little green. Woo. Springtime colors. Okay. So make a needs assessment. Then after that, you might write a little bit more saying, okay, uh-oh. If you put your cursor afterwards and hit return, look, it makes a new row. And you're like, I didn't want that many rows. How can I get rid of a row? Well, you can get rid of a row by using the delete key. If I select this row right here and I hit the delete key, it's going to ask me, hey, what do you want to do? I want to shift it. I'm going to delete the entire row. Boom. Gone. Okay, so you can do that if you have an extra row. Okay, again, just right-clicking is a lot of stuff. If you hit return twice, it's going to keep doing that, and you're like, oh, my gosh, what is going on? Okay, so how do I get away from that? Well, again, let's hit delete. Let's hit delete. Delete entire row. Oh, click below, not after it here, below. Now you can start typing. Uh, what would I type after needs assessment? I am looking for a fast system that can meet my needs. Hence, you just wrote your needs assessment. I don't know. You would elaborate on there. Elaborate. It doesn't, you, you can write very simple, few paragraphs. If your paper turns out to be four pages, you don't have to write a lot. But it should give me some detail about, you listed some data in here. Right? What would our, what would our needs be? Killing demons, maybe. Kill demons. What would you have over here? If you want to kill demons on your computer, what would you put here? Graphics. I've lots of RAM on my graphics card. Right? Maybe I want to kill demons could be a mouse. A mouse that works with, I don't know, my son is 16. He loves killing demons. He has a certain mouse pad that's not even optical, right? You look at these ones, they're optical. They have a little laser in them, right? He has one that works with some mouse pad. Oh, my, my mouse isn't even a laser one. It works with a mouse pad. On I don't even know what's that one. Could be killing demons. Okay, the second one would be what? System requirements. Let's put another one in real quick here. System requirements. Let's put another one in. There we go. I can highlight the first row, merge that together. Type in system require. Oops, requirements. And again, in the layout option, you can center it and you can then color it. Right here, shade, shade. And so maybe we got a little, we can 
Maybe you make it similar to the one above. I don't know. System re requirement would be um, uh, we need to uh, fast computer. And we're going to say maybe an i9 processor. Uh, what else would I need? A portable. Oh, no. Portable. Port portable? And laptop. That might be a needs. That might be up here. I don't know. What else would a system requirement be? Uh, um, um, um. What do we have in our system? Fast computer, that's a good one. I9 processor. I'd like to see a little bit of detail in there. Maybe uh, um, I want to run uh, Photoshop. And so Photoshop requires how much RAM? At least one with 8 gigabytes of RAM. Who uses Photoshop now? Who uses Lightroom? Lightroom. I don't know. My son uses Lightroom. I use Photoshop. So you can box it out, which one's better. Depends. So something like that. You should list a little bit about some of the things that you know about, right? You should know about what a processor is, and you should list in your system requirements the type of processor you think you need, the type of RAM you think you need. What else would you have? Um, maybe uh, screen size. I, you know, weight. How heavy. When I'm looking to buy a laptop, I don't want, you know, uh, you know, five pound laptop. I want a nice, you know, 30 ounce laptop or just to add some something that's light that I can carry around. That might be something you would put in here. Right? Okay. Okay, then write a little bit more about what you just listed here. You could write, I think eight gigabytes of RAM would would be minimal minimal min no well, whatever i don't minimal whatever uh, i would love to get 16 gigabytes if i had the if i can afford it maybe write about a budget too i would probably put myself a budget at the top even before you get to your 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 uh um comparison chart right i might write about a budget I think I need to get a new system for college, and I have about two thousand dollars in my bank, and that's all I can spend. The system requirements. I'm looking for data, like yeah. I'm looking for things like number. You should know what kind of number of stuff you need. How big a hard drive space? I take a lot of photos. System requirements. I take a lot of photos. How big a hard drive should I get? More than 500 gigabytes, probably, right? And don't be fooled by those stupid Macs. You go to the right. Apple Store, and they love to push that 128 gigabyte hard drive on you, don't you? Don't they? Oh, you can buy this Mac laptop. You know, you're the salesperson up there. You buy this Mac laptop. You know, it's only going to cost you $1,200. Nice 13-inch MacBook Pro, $1,200. Beautiful. But it only has 128 gigabyte hard drive, right? And once you put the operating system on there, you're going to put, what, maybe three songs on there? And maybe, you know, one camera full of pictures, <coughs> boom, it's full. And so don't be fooled by that. Okay. You at least a 256 gigabyte hard drive or 500 gigabyte hard drive would be good. Don't be fooled by the Apple. We'll get to the Apple. We'll buy an Apple soon. Anyway, let's finish with this. Which we're, we're at right now. Boom, boom. How about we format our paper a little bit here? Let's get to the – because we haven't formatted anything. Let's format it, and then we'll go to the comparison chart, and we'll compare some computers. Okay, and we'll put the comparison chart in there. Then we'll format the final table without the borders, right? Remember, your final table does have no, no columns or no borders. We just make the borders invisible is what I'm trying to say. Okay, let's format a little bit. Here we go. First thing we're going to do is make sure our, our thing is in inches. And if you notice right now, it's in inches because I have the ruler showing up. If you don't see rulers up here at the top, you can go under view and say ruler right here. Boom, 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 boom. If you want to also confirm that you have the right margin, you can also go under insert. or no, design. I'm sorry. No, I'm still sorry. Where is it? Layout. 
Margins, there they are. One, 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 one. Should be one, 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 one. Okay, boom. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is let's make sure our font size is right. Oh, 12 point. You can use any font you want. Do not mix it though. I do not wanna see Times New Roman in parts and then Arial in another one. It all should be the exact same font throughout the paper. Do not switch up fonts. Okay, same font. You can use the body, that's fine. This is this normal one, that's fine. Uh, if you want, remember, try try to avoid times and things. Watch it when I go to times. Here, watch it. Watch how the paper gets smaller. I'm getting old, and I can't read very well. No, it doesn't. Ha that's not a requirement. No. No. Okay. Hit. Really? Yeah, yeah every single English class. Like, the English class, now if you read the website, the MLA format website, you're fine, it does not have to be in times. I'm following the Al people, right? We follow Al, right? Here, let's go to Al. Al, uh, Al, Purdue, there it is, there it is, here it is, let's read. <laughs> Here it is. Where is it? Uh, where am I at? Oh, there's style guide. Um, source. Uh, oh, this is for the. Uh, uh, I got it. Whoosh. Uh, where am I? General format. There we go. Here we go. General format. Here, let's read it right there. Here we go. It just says use a legible font. I G U. That's just an example of the font. That's not a requirement. Okay. It just says use a legible font. It is not a requirement you use time. And in fact, I, I would say don't use time. Okay. Well, it's hard to read from, you know, I'm old. I want big font. Remember, the sans serif font is bigger than the serif font. Remember that discussion we had about fonts, right? Sans serif is bigger than serif font. Sans serif, bigger, serif is smaller. Really? They all tell you you have to use time? No one ever ever. Tell them to go here. Ridiculous. No, they'll probably come and knock on my door. <laughs> Leave one space after period, Jerry. Now that set margins of your document to one set is one inch. We already did that. Indent the first line. Let's do all these things right now. Come on, let's go. Here we go. Let's let's do a uh, boom. So here we go, let's do the, uh, remember if we, we're going to make some mistakes and we have to fix them, remember that. Here we go. Most of the formatting for your document is up here in this one right here, the paragraph. So make sure you select everything, Command A, Command A, select all, Command A, Command A, select all. Go to this one, the line spacing and paragraph, click on this, go to Line spacing options, the very last one. Last one, line spacing options, boom. Inside there, we're gonna do what? We're gonna do special. First line, half inch, boom. Second one, line spacing, double, boom. And don't add extra space between paragraphs of the same style, boom. Those are the three things you need to choose. This one, boom, double, boom, boom. So three booms in here and say okay it's gonna make mistakes it's gonna it's gonna give you problems first problem you're gonna see is that up here at the top this has been indented we don't want that right this should be over here okay so it, it causes some problems but we can fix them okay so the power might be the easiest power would be click here and hit delete click here hit delete click here Hit delete, click here, hit delete, click here, hit delete. Okay, but we don't want the title over there. The reason why I hit delete for the title was I don't want that extra space there because when I center it, that extra space would be centered too and the, the title would be a little bit not centered, right? Okay, so delete that first and then go center right here. Boom for the title, boom right there. There's a boom right there. Whoosh, that looks good already.
Okay, let's do the header. Remember, you have to do your last name and page number on every page except for, except for the first page. So here we go. Remember, the easiest way to put in your header is on the second page. Don't do it on the first page. I don't know. I found it easier. It gets buggy if you try and do it on the first page because you're telling it not to be on the first page. So go down here to the second page, down here. And if you don't see a second page, just hit return a couple times. If you don't have a second page, boom, boom, boom. Okay. A couple booms down and you'll get down there. And just get to a second page. And uh, we got a couple. Get to a second page. To put the page number and your last name in there, we're going to go to not header. Do not use header. We use page numbering. So here we go. You're on your second page, everybody? Okay. We're going to go under insert page number. Don't use header. Page number is easier. Click on that. We're going to say page number. Do you see that? Click on page number. It's going to ask you what. We don't want it on the bottom. Where do we want it? Top. Where do we want it? Right or left? Right. Do we want show numbers on first page? No. No. We don't. We don't want that. Turn it off. Okay. Man, I hit OK. Boom. Puts a two there on the second page. Double click on that. Put your name and put your cursor in front of the number and put your last name. R A S C O V is mine. Hit space. Boom. When you're all done doing all that beautiful stuff that we just did, make sure you close the header and footer up there. Do you see where it says close header and footer? Make sure you close that before you continue. Boom. Look, it's not on the first page. Look at that wonderful. Ah, it's on the second page and it will be on all sequential, se sequential pages. Okay. Let's do our comparison chart or you want to take a break? You want me just to keep talking and we leave a little early? Without taking a break, or you want to take a break and we go all the way to 2.30? That's up to you. You want to keep going? Okay, I need to, let me drink my soda or my bay, or whatever you call it. What would you call this? Bay. Bay or bay? If you say bay, I say bay. Some people say tomato, some people say tomato, right? Okay, I didn't eat any lunch. Who's hungry? You know, okay. Okay, the easiest way to do your comparison table is to copy and paste. Okay. So I'm going to make a table, and then I'm going to go compare some computers. And as I'm comparing them, I'm going to copy the data and put it into my, my comparison chart. Here we go. I'm going to make it. I'm going to insert one. Oh, you write a little bit, write a little bit. Love it, love computers and everything about computers. I wish I was a computer expert. Okay, I thought that a Mac would be good for me, but I wanted to compare with Windows to see which one was better. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is remove that paragraph or the paragraph break before I put my table in, right? Remove the paragraph break. Boom. Okay, remove that. I don't want. I want the ta the table should go all the way to the edges, one inches each, each one inches each. Okay, here we go. Let's go insert. We're going to do a table. We're going to go whoosh. Let's do, uh, you want to do two computers? Let's do, uh, let's do four, four, four columns and uh, something like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to list a, like a Mac here, then I'm going to list a Windows here, then I'm going to list like, you know, when you're looking at the Apple computer, going to show you how much certain things cost so you know I might put on you know um, you know I have to have a mouse the magic mouse cost what like 80 bucks so the reason why I have two columns here for one computer is I might have the part and the price part and the price because you're comparing things right and then make sure you do a total price for each computer because it's hard to compare computers if you don't know what the total price is going to be, right? Okay, here we go. First, let's find a computer we want to compare. Let's go to Apple. Here we go. Boom. Um, Apple. And let's buy a Mac. 
And we're going to sit here and say, well, you know, in my needs assessment or my system requirements, I talked about how I like to take my computer on the go. I'm going to go to Starbucks and compete at Starbucks. So what kind of computer would I get? Okay, what is the difference between these? Okay, so Apple comes along and they say, hey, I got three different kinds. I got an uh, old MacBook Air. I got a MacBook Pro 13 inch, MacBook Pro 16 inch, and then they have these other ones. You got the all-in-one iMac, they got the iMac Pro. What what is the difference between the Pro and the regular iMac? Well, it's mostly the processor, right? Uh-huh. Mostly the processor and the amount of RAM they put in there, and maybe the screen resolution, where the Pro usually has maybe a 5K display or 4K display, and where the other one might be a little bit less. When, you know, the reason why they have these, and it, it, it's everywhere, right? I make a stud finder. I have probably about 20 different stud finders. Some have, you know, they pretty much do the same damn thing. But some have a little bit of features like seven times the stud finder, eight times the stud finder, you know, AC warning if there's wire behind your wall. You know, it's just a little bit of features, and that's business model, right? That's why when you go to the car dealer, they have what, a whole bunch of different cars for you to choose from. The business model. Okay, so um, it just depends. Let's say, uh, what, what would your budget be? Who has a budget they want to say? What budget would you have? Let's say, you know, maybe ten bucks a week. Thousand dollars. Thousand dollars, and then it's gonna be tough to get a Mac for a thousand dollars. Give me a little bit more. How much? Twenty five hundred. Twenty five hundred. I like that price. Okay, I'm gonna go with twenty five hundred just so it's even. I have a rich aunt. My rich aunt is gonna, you know, she's gonna cough up some cash. Now, I know you have a rich aunt. They're actually kind of poor in Northern Ohio. But besides that, let's go. Let's see if we can get the 16 inch for 2,500. Let's just see if we can do it. How about that? Boom, 16 inch. I'm gonna go down here. Let's see. Where's the buy box? There's usually a buy box. Oh, there it is. Buy box. That's where you start. So choose a computer, go to buy box. Okay, oh, they're going to give you a trade-in. I'm going to trade in my old one. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. So we got 16-inch. Uh, what do we have here? 2.3 gigahertz, 8-core processor. Oh, we did talk about cores today. So 8-core of me one. It's working on 8 things at a time, right? It can do multitasking. Mm -hmm. Turbo boost with all this other stuff in there. Twenty. Oh, look, this is under my budget, but what about tax? Tax. I don't know if I can get through there. Plus, you got to buy what if you want to. Your app, if your computer, you know, uh, blows up and you need to get it fixed, what do you got to buy? An Apple warranty. The Apple Care, the warranty, right? And how much is Apple Care and something like this? Probably three hundred dollars at least, I would say, maybe two fifty. It depends on the, the price. Like, do you ever buy a phone and you buy Apple Care for your phone? It depends on the kind of the price of your phone. You kind of scale up a little bit, right? So I don't know if this would even work. Whew. How about we try the thirteen incher? How about that? Thirteen inch. Hey, remember when you measuring? When, when they say inches, I know. I just came back from South America. Everything's in you know kilograms or in you know, what are meters and stuff like that? Nobody understands what inches mean except for here. Remember, it's a diagonal. So from the lower left to upper right is how you measure in inches. You switch to that thing. Okay, so let's try the 13 inch one. I don't think I can. I don't think my 2,500 budget would work. If I, I, because I need Apple Care. It's not worth buying an Apple unless you get Apple Care because your computer's gonna blow up. You know how many times. I've had systems fail on me, and I take it back to the store and give me a new one. Especially with the iPad, I've had two iPads go on me, take them back, and they were still under Apple Care, and they gave me another one. So phones, my son, I don't know if he drops it all the time or whatever, but he he's gone through four or three. They only let you change it three times, and then you're done. So keep that in mind. Apple Care is not unlimited, especially with a phone. 
Okay, let's try the 13 inch. Let's see if we can get under our budget. Let's see if we can get a good one here. Oh, here we go. The top of the line 13 inch is $1,799. I might be able to get that. Let's let's go with that. I'm going to go top of the line one here. Boom. Sit select. Here we go. Okay, now let's see if we can make it even better. Oh, look, you can make it better. So some of the things that they talk about is you can customize. So instead of the i5 processor, you might want to jump to the i7. What is this gigahertz? What does that mean? Do you guys look at how the, what the chips are? Can you talk about gigabytes, Mr. Mark? Can you say gigahertz? It's a speed, right? What is it measuring? Clock speed. That's what gigahertz is. Clock speed. Okay, and then that's how fast your processor is crunching numbers. How about that as a as a as a number? It's a calculator, right? Computer is basically a giant calculator, and the faster the calculator, the faster the data can be analyzed and displayed on your screen. Is there a real big difference between the 4.1 gigahertz and 4.7? I don't know if that's too much. I mean, for $300, I would rather probably just stay with the i5 maybe for right now and maybe put more RAM in. More RAM might make your computer run better. Remember the RAM? What does RAM stand for? Random access memory, thank you. Yes, random access memory. So, you know, the RAM is rather important, especially if you're going to use things like Photoshop or you're going to go and use. Uh, I do a lot of video editing. I just came up with a video almost every day. And so, you know, that takes a lot of RAM. In fact, in a program called After Effects, when you're doing a preview, it does what's called a RAM preview, where it takes the, the video that you're rendering and puts it in the RAM to be able to render that video in real time so you can see the animation happening in, in real time so it's more slow. Okay, you need a lot of RAM for that. So I might not change this, but what I might do, let's scroll down a little bit. Oh, okay, let's start though. Let's start. What are we doing here? Oh, we're doing this one. Boom. Highlight that. Copy. Command C. I'm going to come over here to my paper. I'm going to merge this top cell together. Boom. Merge that top cell. And I'm going to paste my thing in there. Don't just hit Command V. What is going to happen? Boom! It, uh, look at that. We don't want that. It took the formatting from the website and put it in there. So I'm going to undo that. What do we do when we paste? We go under Home, Paste, Text Only. Text Only. Boom. Now remember, this is two-inch spacing here. And I, t I told you, you don't have to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my entire table by clicking in the upper corner right here, and I'm going to change my line spacing to like 1 or 1 1.5. Oh, no, I don't want blue. Ah, no color. Maybe 1.5, that's good. So again, the line spacing here you can change. So select it all in there and go to your number up here. Because you don't want double space. That's just going to take up a lot of space in your table, and it's going to be hard for me to read. Okay, so let's continue. Let's go back to our website. Okay, and here we go. We're going to go with the standard standard one here, right? So I'm going to copy that line to standard one right here. The 2.4 gigahertz core generation ITAL processor, 0.4 gigabytes right there. I'm going to go back here to my paper. And I'm going to click in this one, and let's paste it in there again. Make sure you use the paste only. Boom. Looks good. We don't have to put the price here. That's okay. Some things we might put a price. Some things we might not. Just don't worry about it right now. Okay. Usually the mouse, I'll put a mouse in there and put a price for the mouse and stuff like that. Okay, let's continue. Uh, where are we at? Uh, here we go. We're going down. We got that. Oh, here's our RAM. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm wanting. Boom. I'm wanting that. Maybe an extra $200. Highlight that. Copy. Go back to my paper. Click in this one. Remember, paste regularly. Paste regularly. Boom. Okay. We might put our little plus 200 plus 200. And so what was this one? This was regular gray. Uh, this was base. It was the base price of that before we put the 200 in there. Oh, before I put this in, what was it? 
Oh, this one right here. Here we go. So the base was this. And so maybe we'll put that in there. That sounds like a good base. Uh, let's put that in up here. That'd be good before we customized it. Okay, then we plus 200 for that, right? Okay, let's continue. We're moving along. We're doing pretty good. We're just flying along here. Uh, you can put the retina display if you want in there. This is not an extra price there and so on. Uh, it was only the memory. Oh, hard drive. Boom! I'm going to want the 512. I, I, I take a lot of photos. Plus you have music, right? Who has over, you know, 20 gigabytes of music? I'm sure some of you that probably have more than 20. I got more than 20 gigabytes of music. Okay, so that's another 200 right there. So let's highlight that. Let's put that in there. And that was, what, 200 as well? There we go. Okay, let's go back. We're going along, we're going, oh, I could have gone up to this. It, that fits in my budget, maybe. No, it's not. Because once I put Apple Care in there, it's going to explode. Um, we don't want Final Cut. I don't like Logic. Um, power Adapter. Where's, where's my other stuff? Back of the keyboard. Where's my mouse? I want a mouse. <coughs> but I need a mouse for my laptop. Okay, well, let's just add to bag for now. Oh, we should probably put in some of the other stuff, though. I want you to include some of the other things. Sorry, let, let me go back. Let's put in, uh, let's put in, uh, the, did we put the hard drive in? Uh, oh, let's put in this. It doesn't have a price, but we can copy that. We got to make it look good. We got to make it look good. Here we go. Let's put in this. Whatever the data you see there, boom. That's the graphics card that's in it. Uh, you, I guess you can't change that. What else is in there? Oh, three, four Thunderbolt ports. Copy that. And put that in. Paste that in there. Okay, and now now let's add some peripherals, right? Because a Mac is not very good with it is. You have all those little USB-C connections or Thunderbolt ones or whatever they want to call them, and so you need adapters, right? You want to plug a USB. You can't just plug a USB device into these things unless you have an appropriate adapter and things like that. So let's go and, and try and see what we can get in here. Let's go and uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, so we, we added this to bag, right? Did we add it to the bag already? Oh, I did. Yeah, I got my bag. My bag. There's my bag. Okay. Your bag is already at 2187 Whoosh. We're going to add our Apple Care. Boom, right there. So here we go. We got our Apple Care. We got to put that in there. Put our Apple Care in there. And that is how much was it? Did it say? It was two something? Let me see. Two six nine. Two six nine. So that's plus two six nine. What is our budget at? Where are we at here? Oh, tax. <gasps> Look at that. I don't even think I can buy a mouse. Okay, I guess I'm not getting a mouse unless I get my aunt to give me more money. Can I put a, I don't think I can. I'm, I'm at my budget limit. <gasps> and I'd love to have these AirPods, right? Wouldn't that be cool? I can listen to music without having wires sticking out of my ears. No? Ooh, the bag. So I guess we're done because I don't think I can go in there. And so uh, you might want to put tax in there. So tax is 209. Mm, oh. Uh oh, I'm running out of space here. Do I need a new row? Boom, boom. Ah, oh, not that. If you put it outside, you can add a row. Boom. Do you see that? Click outside, add a row. Boom. Okay, so we got tax. What was the tax? Plus 209, was it? Something like that, right? And then what do we have? Total. 
What's the total for my computer? Here it is. Boom. Put our total in there. Okay. So maybe we color this side one color here because this is the Mac side. What color should Mac be? Go to your table layout. Let's put it, uh, let's do it red. Boom. No, that's going to be hard to see. How about we do more colors? Let's do a, a nice light kind of pinkish. There we go. Okay. Let's do a Windows computer. We're going to compare. So when I'm doing the comparison, I'm going to try and pick parts that are similar, right? Maybe an i5 processor on my Windows system, maybe 16 gigabytes RAM on my Windows system, maybe in, in the hard drive, you know the difference between hard drives, right? Did, did the teacher talk about that? What does SSD stand for? Solid state drive. It's a drive that doesn't have moving parts. In the old days, we used to use, you know, you ever listen to a computer, make noises, right? Well, a lot of computers today don't make noises because they have what we call solid state drive, which means the drive is not actually moving in there. It's like flash memory. It's, it's, it's memory that's just stored. And so, um, you know, you got to keep that in mind when you're doing that. And then uh, graphics display, it doesn't really tell me how much RAM is on there. It just tells me what this is. Thunderbolt is the ports. Apple Care, tax, and so on. So let's go find a window. Where would I buy a Windows computer? HP, Dell, I don't know. Lenovo, which one you want? New Egg, you want to do New Egg? Did I tell you my story of Newegg? I didn't tell you my story of Newegg, have I? There's young me, 25 years old, moved to San Francisco. The internet was just coming in, it was 26, 27, 28. I don't even know how old I was. But when I first moved to San Francisco, it looked like the internet was just coming out in 1995. 1995, I moved to Golden Gate Avenue all the way top by USF up there. USF. Okay, the University of San Francisco up there. Is not, what's that? Is it Sunset Lake? No, oh, no, not quite that that far. It's more, you know, this way. It was at the top of the hill for Golden Gate Hill, all the way up on the you know, flattened top up there. So I I wanted to get connected to the internet. And the only way back then is to connect to your phone line, your telephone line. And to do that you needed what's called a modem. Modem stands for modulation, demodulation, modem. And so I get on my bike, because you know, there's no way to park it, so you might as well ride your bike. And of course, it's all downhill. So I'm just flying downhill, Golden Gate, ooh, go past the, 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 the new city hall, just like the bus, ooh. Get to Market Street, go left, New Egg. I walk into New Egg and I buy myself a modem. It cost me $280 for a 28 8 modem. A 28 8 modem is very slow. Like, Bits per second. Huh. Very slow. But it did. It cost me $280 for a modem just to get connected to the internet. And I bought it at New Egg on Market Street. And took it back home and I was on the internet making websites, emailing my wife. She was still in New York. Okay, let's go to New Egg. Here we go. New Egg is a place where you can buy a computer. Uh, New Egg, E G G Egg. New Egg. There we go. New Egg. New Egg computer parts and components. There we go. So we want to buy a computer system. What are we doing? We're doing a laptop, right? Because we got a laptop there. Remember, we wrote in our thing that we want to do a portable computer that I can take on the go. So I'm going to look at a laptop. Okay. Don't try and do one laptop and desktop, unless that's what you're comparing. Maybe you say, I, you know, I love to have a laptop, I can't afford it, but a desktop might be better for me. You can do laptop and desktop, that's okay. But in this case, if we're doing Mac and Windows, I might do two laptops, okay? So let's go to a uh, laptop and notebook right here. How about that? Boom. And so we got one here, let's see, we got this one, Windows 10, we got some screen sizes here. So we were doing 13 inch, maybe we do the 14, yeah, maybe we get a little bit bigger screen. There we go. 
the Mac, I, my budget was very limited, but here with Windows, I might be able to get a larger computer. Should we try the 15? You want to do 17? Problem with 17 is going to be heavy, right? Remember, maybe in my needs assessment, I wrote that I don't like a heavy computer. I don't want to have to lug around, you know, 10 pound computer. So maybe I'm going to go with the 15 inch. Boom. Let's go with that one. Here we go. Here's some 15 inches. Here we go. Which ones we want? Do you want to do Lenovo? Oh, look, it's only $519. Look at that. Wow. This has a touch screen. Mac, does Mac have a touch screen? No. No. Well, that might be kind of cool. What about this one? Eighth generation. I5. That's I5. That's comparable to the one I was getting. There's an I5 as well. Oh, this is only 1.6 gigahertz. So what was the Mac one? 4.1, ooh. This might be nice and cheap, but look at the processor. Mm. I would look at the gigahertz. That's the speed of your processor. It's going to be kind of slow. I'm going to be crunching my Photoshop. My pixels are not going to crunch very fast with this one, especially if you're using Photoshop. Uh, this one's 2.1 gigahertz. That's a little bit better. Uh, let's keep going. Down. Oh, 3.6 gigahertz right there. HP, only 4.99. And it has a touch screen. It might not be too bad. Let's keep going. Let's see what else we want. Lenovo, 2.1, 1.8 1 gigahertz. There we go. Uh, two gigahertz there. Where are we going here? Oh, why, why are these getting more? Oh, maybe it has more RAM. Look, this one has a 256 gigabyte SSD drive. Mm-hmm. It has an AMD processor. Can I can I use AMD processor? Do computers work with AMD? Yeah, sure. Why not? It'll work. Here's an Intel Core i7 processor right here with 16 gigabytes of RAM, 512 gigabyte SSD drive, NVIDIA GeForce GX 1050 Ti 15.6 Windows 10. Woo! I'd probably kill some demons with that. Maybe. Mm hmm. I might be able to go with this one. What is this? MSI? Never heard of that. Is it a good system? Is it real good? Okay, we're going to go with my friend's recommendation here. Let's go with the friend's recommendation. Because you always have to ask your friends for recommendations, right? You never buy anything without talking to your friends, do you? Right? That, that's the whole internet today, right? It's all about... That's why we have stars on everything, right? But, of course, don't believe the Amazon stars are all made up. Okay, let's click on this one. Boom. Let's see what we got here. We can customize it as well. So first thing we're going to do is let's copy this stuff up here. How about we don't need everything. We, oh, this is only 1.8 gigahertz. That's not a very good pro. Well, I guess it's okay, huh? Is it all right? Let's go with it. I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to come over here to my paper. Again, merge this together up here. Merge that merge that together. And let's paste regularly. What's this? Paste, 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 paste. Boom. Okay, there we go. Okay, so let's look at the processor. What processor did we get here? It is, uh, uh, where are we at here? 16, where's the processor? Oh, it's only one. Here it is. Is it? Oh, here it is. I put that in the title. That's okay. We'll put it again. It's okay. Remember, there's no mistakes. Only what what is what does uh, uh, Bob Ross say? Happy accidents. Thank you. I was trying to get that out of my brain. There's no mistakes. Only happy accidents. Okay. What else we got here? Okay. Here we go. Uh, let's see. So should we get a more RAM? We got hey, we're under our budget. We'll now also get hey Bob, we get a two one terabyte. There we go, one terabyte. That's in our budget, and we got sixteen gigabytes of RAM. Boom! Did it tell us how much the one terabyte was? The price is up a lot higher now. It didn't say, did it? Being sneaky, aren't they? Sneaky. It didn't tell me. I guess we could calculate it. What was the base price before I did that? Boom. Let's go back. Okay. Let's put our eight ninety nine ninety nine. Let's put that at the top of our thing here because we got to have a base price here. This is a. This was base. Was what? Let's put that in there. Boom. Okay. There we go. 
And then we added, uh, uh, we, we wanted uh, more more memory here, so let's go. Oh, we went with the one terabyte. So I have to calculate. This is 10, what's the difference? 145. 145? So let's put one terabyte, and that is uh, plus 145. Okay. Okay, how about the hard drive? Do, do, do we got a hard drive here. Oh, that was the hard drive. I'm sorry. I'm in the wrong aisle. Memory is here. I'm sorry. I, I made a mistake. Sorry. This is actually here. There we go. Sorry. What was the memory here if we go for 32? So we go from 16 to 32. Oh, we could do that. I, we could do that. Look at that. Let's go about that. So that was uh, 32 gigabytes of RAM. And that was how much difference? 124. I'm going to go with that. Whoosh. Okay. And then we're going down. We got this kind of card. Let's put that in there. Copy. Let's put that in. Where's the, you know, here's the card right here. Put that in there. Boom. And then ports, does it tell me how many ports or what kind of ports I got in there? I see some ports there. Oh, look, that has real, real USB ports. Look at that. I don't have to have all those crazy adapters that Apple makes you buy for, you know, $500. You want an adapter? That'll be $500. No, Apple is evil. Mm. Look at that. I got real ports in there. Okay. So we don't have to worry about that. Uh, Here's some specification. Intel Whiskey Lake Core. Nice name there. USB dongle. Mm, backlight keyboard. What are, what are we looking for here? What are we comparing here? Oh, Apple Care. Do they have a warranty? That's what we want. Is there a warranty here? Where's the warranty? Oh, here it is. Is this the one? Where? Oh, there's a warranty. Well, I guess we don't have to pay extra. Oh, here we go. Two years. Spills and protection. I might go with the two year spills and protection. There we go. I'm going to do it because I'm still under my budget. Might as well do it. And that was what? How much was that? $200? Yeah, $200. Yeah, $199. So that was one ninety nine, ninety nine. Okay, and then uh, let's see. Okay, that's enough. It'd be nice if I could add there. So let's add to our cart. See how much the tax is going to be. There's no tax. Above total does not include tax, yeah, and shipping. So how much is the tax going to be on this? How you calculate the tax? Where's the calculator in this computer? Where's the calculator? What are we looking for? Calculator, calculator. There it is. So, what was my price? What was my price? Oh. 1325. Divided by what? What's the sales tax? 0.9? A thousand four hundred thirty-two dollars. Does that sound right? Oh, what? How do I get tax? You guys are business majors. How do I get tax? Times point nine two five. No. How do I times it? Thirteen twenty-five times what? 
$122. Am I still under my budget? Tax. What was it? $122. Oh. Oh, this one was 76? Yeah. Okay. So what's our total then? So this plus tax. This plus tax. So what's the, what's the tax? So this would be seven, this would be four, and this would be four. Oh, it's about the same price. Oh no, look. Oh, it's only 1,440. Wow, look at that. Okay, let's highlight all this and let's give it a color. There we go. Okay, so here's our comparison so far. So this is what you're supposed to do for your comparison table. List some parts, prices. You're making a rational decision on which one. So which one would you buy? You would buy the Windows one. It's a lot cheaper. Think of the money. I still have, you know, my grandmother, my aunt was going to give me $2,500. I only spent $1,447. I can pocket the other $1,000. Think of that. Food and all the things. I can go out and have fun. We'll go to Vegas for a weekend. Woo! No. Okay, so what you should then do is write about, you should write about what you think. Remember, make sure the fonts are all the same. Make sure you write about, I've thought about it, and I'm thinking that the Windows system would be a much better system for me than the Macintosh because I don't have a lot of money and I can save the extra money that I want to uh, do other things in life. Right? Okay, let's talk about your final one. Final table. Final table it can be a simple one. Okay, it doesn't have to be a comp as detailed as that one. You could just list the computer and maybe some peripherals you, that you might want. I might, you know, need to buy some software. I might need to buy some, um, what else would I need to buy? A mouse. I, I like to have a mouse. I can't live without a mouse. You might want to buy, um, what else? Uh, printer. I don't know. I guess you don't have to print anything anymore. We used to buy printers and, and have to print in and turn in papers to the teacher and print it out, but I guess we don't have to do that anymore. What else? Connections, cable connections for your computer maybe, from your phone to your thing, right? You want to be can if I buy a Windows system, can I use an iPhone with my Windows system? Sure. You can get iTunes or i i stuff, can't you? For Windows. Okay, let's put in a table. Here we go. Last table. Last table. Let's just do something like this. Okay, and so then we're going to go with this one, right? We said we're going to go with this one. So we're going to go with this uh, uh, this one, laptop. Mm -hmm. Let's just copy the whole thing here. We're going to go with this one. And let's put it up here in the top. Let's merge this together here. Actually, I probably should have just done... No, we're going to do... I don't know. I'm going to merge these together, these ones at least. And let's put it in... Um, where am I doing here? I'm pasting it in there. Paste, paste. Boom. And what was the total price? What was the total price? There we go. Oh, let's, let's do... Uh, I want you to include tax in the in the thing though too. So, uh, so this what's the total price before taxes? Do you remember? Thirteen twenty-five. Thirteen twenty-five was it something like that? Yes. Okay. 
And then uh, what are some of the things I might need? Maybe, uh, okay, let's, let's do some alignment. Let's do some alignment. So I'm going to uh, uh, align things to the right in this one. Okay, and the reason why is I want things to line up nice and even. Think of your, your business sheets, right? Your business papers, right? Do you ever do in your accounting, right? In accounting, you have things lined to the right and left, right? So they're nice and even, right? So for this one, I'm going to align it to the uh, right, boom, like that. And so for this one, let me merge this together. Yeah, I probably didn't need all these cells. And so this one uh, will be my mouse. I'm going to buy a mouse. Oops, moose, mouse. So I'm going to align that to the right. And let's say I buy a magic mouse or some electrical mouse for like 50 bucks. I'm just making a price. You would look up the appropriate price for the mouse that you would want, right? Um, and maybe we uh, let's merge this together here. Where's merge, 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 merge. And what else did we want? We needed what? Headphones? Yeah, we got some headphones. And so how much do headphones cost? If you want good ones, they're going to be, what, $200? Let's add in our table here. Headphones, what else do we want for our computer? What do, what do we need to do? Software. How about Microsoft Office? And how much is that class for student? 40 bucks, right? And what else do we want? Software, hardware, do we want to, um, we need some cables. How about USB to, um, what, Ethernet? Ethernet, and that would be what, let's say, that's, I just bought one, $12. My brother down in Columbia wanted to be able to connect his uh, uh, laptop to an Ethernet cable, you know, the blue cable. And they don't really come with Ethernet connections anymore, so you have to get all kinds of little things like that. Mm -hmm. Anything else? What else would you need? One more thing. Give me one more thing you need for your laptop. A case. How about that? Carrying case. Carrying? Carrying? Case? Carrying? Oh, with two R's. Carrying case? Carrying with a Y? No. I don't know. Carrying. Carrying case? How about leather case? How about how about just case? How about that? So we need a case. How much is a case? Maybe sixty dollars, a hundred dollars, maybe, a nice one. Right? Hundred bucks. Okay, so let's put in some tax. So what's the tax? And I'll add all that up and come up. I'm just going to make it up. It's going to be, what, $800 tax. <laughs> I don't, I'm just making that up. You should put in some, you know, put it, you should add up all your stuff and find out how much the tax is. And then we come over here. What is our total? What's our total? I don't know. Let's just make it up. How about it's 2300 There we go. Try not to make it up. Try and give me legitimate numbers. I'm just doing this so we can format. Okay, last thing you want to do is turn off, turn off the borders. So you select your table. Boom. Click on it. Go up here to where it says table design, and you see where it says border over here, border. So table design, border, and we're going to turn them off. No border. No border. Boom. And look at that. You got a nice, beautiful table. It's kind of organized. You got it all lined up. See how I had things lined on the left and right? Boom. That's like A plus right there. A plus plus. Last thing, work cited. Work cited. So you did some research. You should have in your work cited the websites that you you priced on, right? We went to New Egg and we went to Apple, right? So let's go and do that. We can use you can use Easy Bib. We're gonna cheat and use Easy Bib. Now, before you do the uh, works cited, you want the works cited to be on its own page. So here we go. To make a blank page, to make a blank page, we're going to go underneath. Insert. No. Home. Where's blank page? Insert. 
There's got to be a blank page somewhere. It says blank page right here. Why am I not getting it? Oh. Click below your table. Click below your table. See where it says blank page right there? Boom. Makes a new page. We're going to say works cited. Hit return. You can center the works cited if you want. Boom. Click down below. No, notice how I, I hit return before I centered it so that my text below is to the left side. Okay, let's go to Easy Bib. What is Easy Bib? It's the Easy Bibliography thing, right? Oh, let's not lose that. We need this for our, our thing. We need this for our, our thing. Let's go to uh, Easy Bib. Easy Bib. Where's Easy Bib? Easy Bib. There it is. Best paper start with Easy Bib. Okay, so what are we citing? We're citing a create a citation. What are we citing? We're citing a website, right? So we're going to type in a URL in there. Well, the first one was, do, did I keep my Apple one or did I close it? Oh, I think I closed it. Well, I got my new egg right here. I still have that. So let's go back to this one right here. This is our page right here. So I clicked on the pro this one. I'm going to highlight that one right there. So make sure you go to the page, not the, not the shopping cart. Go to the product. Don't do the shop. Go to the product. This is the product. This is where we did most of our research, right? On the product itself. So go to the product page. Copy the address at the top up here. See it? Copy that. Go to your Easy Bib and put it in there. Boom. And then say search site. Where'd site go? Oh, here it is. Here's your site right here. Article human? No. No, how do I continue? Just go through the steps. There is no stuff there. Complete citation. Your citation is complete. Where is it? Here it is. You can highlight this. Copy in text citation. Boom. Did I do that? What did I do? They make it hard on you to do this because they want you to pay for some reason. And then paste. There it is. Boom. Hit return. And look, it even puts a hyperlink in there. That's not right, is it? That's like my thing. Where is my site? That's not right. Where is it? Okay. How do I get it? I saw it there. Here it is. It's right here. How do I get that? Is this... Is this co Oh, copy citation. There it is. It's right here. They, you can do it. It's just they they want you to make an account. You don't have to. There's like a little copy button right there. Do you see it? Copy citation right there. Let's try that again. And then, then make sure you go paste special or boom. Human. Are you human? I don't know what that means. Why does it say that? We don't need that. How about we do that? No, that's not right either. I don't know. I don't know how to do a citation. I guess I need to take the English class. Why, why does it say human? Are you human? Let's try again. We're doing website. We want to put it in there. Boom. Search. I guess we have to put the, the new egg stuff in there. Where is it? Where, where do I do that at? I don't want human. I want new egg. Okay, I guess we could do it by hand. How about we put the web address in there, change this to uh, new egg, and then uh, doesn't need to be quoted. And then this is uh, what? New egg. I don't know. That easy bib didn't work very well, did it? Is there another one? Wasn't there another one? I guess we should read the website. What's that? That's such a hard website to use. Yeah. I, it's on the template. I don't know. Look up how to do it. You can look it up on Al. 
Al, what am I doing here? Al Purdue. There it is. There it is. Here we go. Citing your thing. Citing publication. Here it is. The name of the author. Well, we don't have an author. It's a website. How do I do a website? There's a journal. Beyonce. Oh, here we go. Here's a here's a website. Oh, there's an article on a website. Name of article. Name of article. Name of website, I guess, an article. Entire website with the date. How to cite the Purdue Owl in MLA. So it has the name of the website and then there and then the date. How about that? Does that sound good? At least copy and paste the link to the website to me. How about that? I don't know how to cite a website myself. I don't know. That that MLA was kind of difficult. How about we go with the Apple too? We have one for Apple, right? Apple, and then what are we doing? What do we got? Mac, 13-inch Pro, was it? Is this what we did? 13-inch Pro, right? And then we did the buy, and we chose which one? This one? We selected that one. Okay, let's cite this. Let's try it again one more time. What are we doing? Easy bib? I'm going to try it one more time. Boy, this, this easy bib thing is difficult because it has so many things flashing at you. You got your chegg going here. You got this line. It's, it's like almost like a virus site, right? When the things are download, download, flashing at you. <laughs> and what are we trying to do? Citation, website, let's put our website in there. Site. Here it is, it's right here. This is the info you want. This is the info you need for your citing. Your article title, right? So it'd be, it's this stuff right here, see it? This is what you need to cite. See it right here? Here's what we found. Your title is that. There we got our title. Now make sure this is all the same font. It keeps changing my font on me. Okay, title and then in uh, in italic, right? What's that? And then the, the title here would be in italic, right? So... You put that there, and that's an italic, right? And then you put in the, the address link. Here it is. This is the link right here. See that? Put the link in there. Put the link in there. Okay, so we got our link, and then you got to put the date. Put the date in there. Put the date, right? Here's the date. Put that in there. Put the date in there. Boom. That's the way you should do it. Okay, I just didn't see it until there. Did you see it on the Easy Bib website? It's this is the stuff you need. You copy and paste it like it is here. Okay, remember this is an italic, and the rest is all normal. Okay, everybody got that?